Hey, YouTube. All right. I'm here to talk about Miss Stacy Dash. Okay, I got some news for you. Bad news for Stacy Stacy Dash. Stacy Dash. You are black. Now I know you don't like it. I know you done became a Republican, so you can say I am not with them. I am different. I am in a class all by myself. All this stuff you think or whatever goes on in your mind, you are a black woman. So I can imagine your life is pretty miserable when you are constantly going through your life trying to say that you are something that you do not appear to be. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, there was apparently a, an, a, an award show on BET. I didn't see the show, but I did hear what Maxine had to say. Where Maxine Waters was honored there. She's given an award. It's called the Black Girls Rock Acceptance. It was her acceptance speech. Stacey Dash took offense at it. I don't know why she took offense at it, because uh, what, what I heard, unless I missed a piece, there was nothing offensive about it. She was just saying, I am you, you are me, Encur encouraging black people to tell them they can be whoever, whoever they want to be. She is a, a proof of that. And nasty ass Stacey Dash gonna get on there and call that woman. She said, uh, call her a uh, corrupt media buffoon, sucking her late, li late in life 15 minutes. You stupid bitch. How you, the lack of respect. That is, that is a senior a senior woman. She's not on, she's not being famous because of her tits and her ass, like you. Yo, you are in your late life. Maxine Water is not, she's not chasing a, a, a physical actress, whatever the hell you call yourself. Unemployed actress mostly. That's not her, her, her career. She's actually making a difference, doing something important has a respected position in politics late in life if you are the, the type of actress the kind of work you do the, the body the titties and all this kind of stuff all that is fleeting honey so you're the one that is in your late life trying to suck up at 15 minutes because your shit is over with i don't know how old you are but you you're too old to be be a, a, a black bombshell and yes i did say black okay here's the thing I think that a lot of biracial people, and I'm not judging biracial people. I, uh, I have lots of biracial people in my family. Gorgeous. The person. It depends on who you are as a person. But a lot of people feel like they have a choice. I can be black <laughs> or I can be white. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, girl. <laughs> you can say you're white. You can feel like you're white. You can side with all white uh, issues. You can go on, on uh, Republican-run Fox News and, and 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 always be on the side of whenever the issue is white versus black. But you are black. That's what they see, baby. I'm sorry. That's what you you will go out in infamy as black, and you are depending on this little uh, cutesy kind of people that go by your looks. That. Honey, it's over. It starts start the the decline is after thirty. It's like, <laughs> and what you left with now? Being an idiot. How you gonna call Maxine Waters an idiot? And you, I mean, you call her a buffoon, but you are the one that's the buffoon. I mean, that, does that make sense? Listen, this woman, Maxine Waters, was the first one to call Donald. That's why I respect her. To call Donald Trump what he is. She is the one of the very first who are bold enough. To go out in front of national television and tell these people exactly what Donald Trump is. And suggest that he should be impeached just for being an idiot. Now they're all coming along. They're all seeing that she was right. They say, oh, oh we don't got to tiptoe around the White House. <laughs> Let's be like Maxine. Respect that woman. Respect your elders. If you have something nasty to say about Maxine Waters, I would advise you to shut your goddamn mouth and keep it to yourself. When you disrespect your elders like that now i know maxine water don't want to be called could have to the no elders she's doing the job a, a person in the 30s 40s could do i understand that but that woman is an elder well respected elder among black people of course that means you're on the opposite side whatever we like you you're the opposite see when you became republican <laughs> stacy dash you were said to people that i am not like them i am not one of them i am different I think that's the, the, the limit that you, 
you people, you Fox News type black folks have. You know, I know because you're constantly called on to choose sides. Fox is not going to have you on unless you choose your own the white side whenever it comes to race. They're just not going to do it. So, by you becoming this uh, Republican, that's probably just some goddamn script you learned. But by you always choosing to be on the Republican side of all issues, you're telling us that fuck you. I don't give a goddamn what you think about it. I say she's a buffoon. Well, okay. We're going to see who's going to pay the price for that. Bill Bill O'Reilly, he thought his guy was secure too. See, <laughs> karma's a bitch. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly went on, on on Fox News where he feels comfortable at and called Maxine, talked about her wig. Oh, oh and she called her James Brown and all that kind of shit. And was it even a month later that Bill O'Reilly was out of a job? The highest paid announcer on Fox, out of a job. Karma is a bitch. Keep your goddamn mouth shut, Miss Stacy Dash. I don't, don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. You don't fit nowhere, and you you are submitting that because any black people who still fuck with you have got to have nuts nuts and bolts in their head. And I, white people, you still black. So I don't know what the where, where are you gonna fit, girl. You are you are in the state of of of. Stacey Dash, every time I hear your name, it's something negative. Something something stupid you've said concerning race. So, here's my advice for you. I got some good advice for you. Do not call people what you are. You are a corrupt media buffoon trying to get your last 15 minutes, which is that's what it is when you're, you, when you're an actress playing on your looks. It's over, baby. I can see them lines up under your eyes and all that extra makeup. Every year is more makeup. If that's what you depended on, it's over. So you're the one who is a corrupt BP media buffoon sucking her late, late life 15 minutes of fame. Girl, find something to do. Make a difference. You should be, Maxine should be an example for you. An example. Hold her up high, honey. You don't you criticize everything got to do thing anything got to do with black people you always criticize it. You don't want us to have black history month, you don't want us to have black schools, you don't want us to have black shit. Nothing. And then you still black. You pitiful. Pitiful and disgrace and you are a buffoon, lady. Have some respect for your for elder people, people who the rest of us do respect. We ain't got earned no you have not earned the respect. In this country, believe it.